He's back to pass. Pressure coming. He's going to get hit in the end zone. That's going to be a safety. It's now time for Gridiron State of the Union. Another touchdown for the Rage, and they've gone up. The score is 23-17. Presented by DMR Reconstruction, North Carolina's leader in quality insurance restoration services. With crews on standby 24 hours a day, seven days a week. DMR Reconstruction has your restoration needs covered. Give them a call at 704-327-4028. He's going to hand it off to Byron. Byron on the right-hand side. He's going to be into the end zone. Touchdown, Monroe. Gridiron State of the Union is your insider's look each week into Union County High School football. Michael fires one off, and it's into the end zone. Touchdown, Piedmont. Now we head into the DMR Reconstruction Studio, and your host, Brian Stevenson. Hard to believe, but we are at the midway point in the high school football season, and some great storylines have developed so far this year. More about that in just a moment. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Gridiron State of the Union. I'm your host, Brian Stevenson. Last week, though, week six, we had a rainy one here in Union County, but the games were played. Parkwood beat Anson. Piedmont shut out Central Academy, Central's first loss on the season. Monroe took down Cuffertson. Marvin Ridge over Porter Ridge. And Sun Valley in a thriller wins in the last eight seconds of the game over Forest Hills. As I mentioned, we are here at the midway point in the season. It's hard to believe, guys, uh, that we're, you know, trucking along here through a season of high school football. Shane, it seems like we were sitting in this booth uh, just a couple of days ago. It does seem that way. The The season gets over with fast. We're at the halfway point already. Uh, Mike and I talk about it every year. You start the season, it's really hot noticeably not as hot this year as it was the last couple of years but already we've had that one cool game and you know more coming absolutely well let's let's talk uh before we get into kind of where teams are let's talk about last week it was pretty rainy week in union county uh we had a good game it was a mistake field game but boy we've had three weeks in a row where it came down to the last second and and Friday night was no different. Well, it was the strangest football game, I think, that I've ever been a part of uh, in calling. It was just one of those odd and weird nights where nobody would nobody would give up. Nobody did enough to win. Nobody would do enough to lose. It was a weird one, wasn't it, Mike? Well, and it, it the tempo never got off to a start for either team, it seemed like. It was kind of just – it was kind of a struggle fest in a lot of ways. It was a great game, but the def- defense was kind of – you know, they had their work cut out for them. It ended up being a 26-22 victory. Sun Valley pulled it off at the last second. What a ball game. Let's talk about a couple other games. Just hit real quick. Monroe remains undefeated, Mike, and we'll talk more about their season in a minute. But here they are, 6-0, and and, and they're beating 3A teams. They're beating pretty much anybody uh, that, that wants to come down and play them. Well, they're beating all comers, that's for sure. They whooped up on Cuthbertson last week, 31-7. to Who would have guessed that? Thought it would have been a lot closer of a ball game. Austin Kendall did not play, but uh, Monroe nonetheless rolling last week. Pretty big win, especially when you're considering uh, they're kind of fresh off the hills off, off that Weddington victory just a couple of weeks ago as well. Well, let's let's talk about the part that Austin Kendall, whether he's in the game or not, can't control, and that's the uh, defensive side of things. Cuthbertson's got some issues to give up 31 to a team like Monroe. And especially a team that's got that much defense. But what does that tell you about where Cuthbertson might be? Well, you know, I, I'm really not sure. Um, in the respect of Monroe's kind of a special ball team. I mean, when you look at it, I really feel like this is a ball club that could play with anybody on the 3A ranks right now. They're, they're playing as a team. Shane, you and I talked to Coach Sal. He's made mention about that, about how they're playing as one unit. And, and that's exactly what's going on. When you get 11 guys that's willing to play as one, you know, I, I don't know if it says more about Monroe or, or Cuthbertson, but, you know, I, I don't want to take anything away from Monroe right now. Well, uh, to add to it uh, with Cuthbertson, I, this is how I feel about it. They allow Monroe to put 31 points up. Monroe's a good football team, but it still p- speaks to Cuthbertson's defense not being as solid as it should. Now, another way, you could say they only scored seven maybe because they didn't have Kendall. But look back to the week before and the Monroe and Weddington game, and to me it, it says a good little bit about Cuthbertson in the respect that without Kendall out there, they're at, a, they're at a big disadvantage because they don't have a good enough defense to be able to keep up with a lot of people in the county. Absolutely. So we'll see we'll see how that turns out and talk about that a little more. Last one before we go to the break from last week, Piedmont lays it on the other undefeated team, 
and shuts out Central Academy. Uh, they've got one loss, and that's to Forest Hills by one point. Guys, that's that's a pretty solid way to finish up the first part of your season there. I know they've got a non-conference on Friday night, but, man, Piedmont's looking solid. They are. They're looking like a really solid football team and, and a team that's been through a lot of adversity to get where they are. So uh, if you're a fan of football in Union County, period, you, you got to kind of feel good for the Panthers, Mike, because we want to see good things happen for them. Listen, they're only lost to a very good Forest Hills football team, and a Forest Hills team that's only lost two games this season, both two very good opponents. When you look at it, Piedmont's on an upswing. They're doing a lot better than than I thought. You know they would coming into the season. To be honest with you, and and uh, Coach Hyatt's done a phenomenal job with the Panthers out there. Well, let's take our first break right now, Gridiron State of the Union. But when we come back, we'll continue on our midseason report. You're listening to Gridiron State of the Union. Thank you for tuning in and listening to the Gridiron State of the Union brought to you exclusively by DMR Reconstruction. Fire, water, wind, or mold damage, they are your go-to source. And if you're thinking about remodeling from the tip top of the roof to the bottom of the foundation, they can handle it for you. Windows, doors, paint, floors, vinyl siding, they do it all at DMR Reconstruction. Stop by and visit their showroom on Highway 74 in Marshville, North Carolina. You'll be glad you did. 704-327-4028, 327-4028, and they hope you're enjoying the Gridiron State of the Union brought to you by DMR Reconstruction. Welcome back to Gridiron State of the Union. I'm Brian Stevenson with Shane Green, Sideline Mike here. Our midseason review, uh, we've talked a little bit about two of the teams that are really doing well in Union County football this year, but now let's talk about a team that's struggling. Porter Ridge, Mike, 0-6, and, and, and just a tough season for Coach Bev and those men. Well, they slid uh, behind the, the 50% mark on the program over the last couple of weeks, and, and it's uh, they've been on a downward slide. Things are, are looking better. They're starting to play a little bit better. Some of the reports coming out of Indian Trail over there with uh, Porter Ridge. They've got a tough, tough schedule coming up, though, for the rest of the season. Things aren't looking good for the Pirate Faithful. Let's talk about another team that's struggling, UA, Union Academy, 1-6. and six, And, of course, they travel all over the uh, Carolinas in that Yadkin Valley Conference. They do, and, and the good thing about UA is is the conference that they're in is kind of wide open. Um, you know, this is the time of year UA kind of shines. It, traditionally, last several years, this is a familiar spot where they're at, one win on the season. Let's see if they turn it around in that Yadkin Valley Conference. I, I, I like their chances up there. Southern Carolina Conference uh, is going to come up here soon, and – Let's just go through. We've talked about Cupperson. Uh, Weddington now sitting at 4-1. and one. That one fall they had, and, of course, uh, Shane, that was to Forest Hills. Uh, or excuse me, that was to uh, Monroe. So, Weddington not not in bad shape at 4-1, and one, but maybe not getting the uh, – the accolades so far that maybe they deserve well maybe not i mean everybody thought coming into the season weddington and cuthbertson was going to be the game of the year to watch along with maybe monroe and forest hills but uh weddington lost to a really really good football team in monroe i think weddington's fine i think uh i think coach carson has the, the best disciplined team in the county and i think they play fundamental football as good as or better than anyone in the county so i think they'll be fine the Southern Carolina Conference has got five of the six teams in it that, that are just phenomenal football programs, especially this year when you look at, at the teams that's already been mentioned. You throw in the mix. Marvin Ridge, they have what's considered one of the toughest uh, schedules in the, in the 3A bracket is what some folks are saying as far as their strength of schedule goes. So when you look at that, the teams that these guys are playing – these teams are playing week in and week out. Southern Carolina Conference is, is really, uh, you know, I don't want to say that's where it's at because the Rocky River coming up that we're going to talk about, they're just as competitive there, but uh, we've got a lot of competitive programs in the Southern Carolina Conference. Well, I think top to bottom, uh, I think you're right, though. When you talk, let's list them off. Cupperson, Weddington, Marvin Ridge, Sun Valley, Piedmont, Anson. Anson's in the uh, cellar this year. And, and 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 we're Union County High School football show, so that's fine. But uh, Piedmont's 4-1. and one. Uh, Weddington's four and one. Cupperson's three and three. Marvin Ridge is now three and three. Sun Valley three and three. Let's talk about the Spartans because they played some four A games and and had some tough losses. They finally got one. This could really be a pretty incredible conference race. 
Well, Sun Valley might be the best 3-3 three and three team uh, out there. They have played some close football games. I go back to what I said earlier. They had not had the floor waxed with them uh, in these games. No. They've been in some close football games. Uh, they've been a player, too, from winning some of these games. So I think Sun Valley might be a sleeper to watch. I, I would agree with you there. And, and Mike, uh, certainly I would think this is probably going to be one of the tougher conference battles to see who's going to come with a crown. I, I can't really imagine that this wouldn't have some sort of co-champion. Can you? Well, I, that's that's the way it's looking right now when you look at the way these teams match up. Uh, you know, it's there's no real clear-cut uh, champion. They're all great teams. When you look at the Rocky River Conference, though, it looks like we've got a heads-up favorite, 6-0 oh Monroe. I would agree with you. Looking at Rocky River, I'll run down those. They're 6-0, uh, oh, as you said. Forest Hills, 4-2. Uh, then we have uh, Central Academy, 4-1. Parkwood's three and three, and then you've got Mount Pleasant and West Stanley. They both have losing records, and and we we don't want them to win anyway because they're not in the county. But but uh, Monroe, I, I you know I I don't know that anybody's got anything for them. Maybe Forest Hills, but that's really the only one I see that maybe has a shot this year. You know, we get excited about this game each and every year, Shane. You and I have have had the pleasure of calling this game, this particular game, for the last decade. And every year, it, it doesn't matter which uh, team's up and which team's down, they always play to one another's competition. This year, both teams, phenomenal programs. It's setting up for one heck of a week come the final week of the season when those two teams face off, and I can't wait to call that game right here on the Mighty 1190. No, I agree with you. It's uh, they No matter what happens, those two teams always play a close game. Both of them are good football teams this year. It might very well be the game of the season. Well, we will certainly bring it to you on 1190 in just a few weeks here. Uh, last thing before we take our final break here, uh, I know Central is 4-1 and, one and and got their first loss there, but – uh, where do you assess? No, no, nobody's taken anything away from the accomplishments they've made so far. But where do you assess them right now? Well, uh, the only way you can assess them, they're a lot better program than they ever have been in the past. Uh, that's that's where I'll say they're at right now. Are they ready for Monroe? Are they ready for Forest Hills? I'm not quite ready to say that yet. But I think they'll make waves in the in the Rocky River Conference. This is a playoff team. Well, it's time to take our last break. We'll be back right after this with our final thoughts on Gridiron State of the Union. This quick break in the action is brought to you by DMR Reconstruction, the exclusive sponsor of the Gridiron State of the Union. One of these days, you're going to want to do home improvement. New windows, new doors, maybe you got hardwood floors you want to refinish or you need new carpet or flooring. DMR Reconstruction is your go-to source. They also specialize in fire, water, wind, and mold damage restoration. They'll even help you deal with the insurance companies. Visit the showroom in Marshville, North Carolina, or give them a call at 704 327 24-7 for emergencies, 327-4028. Let them know you heard about them here on Wixie. And now back to more of the Gridiron State of the Union brought to you by DMR Reconstruction. Welcome back to Gridiron State of the Union, our mid-season review. I'm here again with Shane Green, Silent Mike, and we're going to have our final thoughts tonight. Shane, we'll start it off with you. <laughs> Time for extra points. Well, halfway through the season, I'm surprised at how good Forest Hills has done. Uh, I see a rejuvenated John Lowry out there. He looks like he enjoys the heck out of what he's doing this year. The football team's more disciplined, and I'm happy to see that out of them. For Monroe, uh, they're doing the same old thing they always do. They look great. Uh, Cuthbertson, to me, has been a little bit disappointing so far, and Weddington has maybe been a little better than I thought they would be. So that's where I'm at right now. All right, Mike. Week six of high school football here on the Mighty 1190. We've got five teams above the 50% uh, mark. Competition's never been stronger in Union County. Conference season's coming up, and this is where the heart of the schedules are. Great games ahead, and I uh, hope everybody gets out to one. Well, guys, my, my thoughts are, you know, two teams. Uh, you know, of course, it's great to see Monroe, but, but to see the story, the rebound of Piedmont High School, that's got to be my number one feel-good story of the year. And, of course, uh, the other one right up there, just good, at least at this point in the season, is Central Academy for Coach Shane Griffin to come in on August 4th, take over a team that had lost their coach, and to be sitting there with just one loss, I think that is phenomenal. But, guys, I appreciate you joining us. And, folks, we're going to have the coverage each and every Friday night. There's nowhere else you can get Union County High School for coverage like you can here on the Mighty 1190. That's all the time we have for this week. 
Special thanks to DMR Reconstruction for sponsoring the show. And thanks to you, the listener, for tuning in each and every week. We have examined the state of our union, and I can report it is good. Good night, everybody.